Hello everyone, welcome back to another brilliant chess study. In this position, white has two pawns, two pieces for a queen. And usually, if white can get all of his pieces well coordinated, he can actually draw. But in this position, white can win with the amazing move pawn to c6. Best response is to just capture the pawn immediately. And here, white will play a deflecting move, bishop to c7, which forces king to d4. And now, white will play the quiet move, bishop to a5. And believe it or not, in this position, every legal move that black has will get his queen captured in either one or two moves. And let's highlight the moves which black queen can obviously not go to. And here I've highlighted some of them, well all of them now, but if black's queen goes to any of the squares that are red, then they will be, then the queen will be captured. So it leaves black queen with only a few moves. a1, e5, capturing the pawn on f2, and finally g1. So let's see what happens if black's queen goes to a1. Well, it allows, it allows white's bishop to fork, so the queen will be captured. If black's queen captures the f2 pawn, then white can simply play bishop back to b6, which once again wins the queen. And finally, queen to e5 allows the bishop to go to c3, winning the queen. And last, but certainly not least, queen to g1 allows the fork with the knight. So the knight is actually pretty useful here. Now let's see what happens if black moves one of his pawns. First of all, if black moves the e pawn, then the white will play the quiet move bishop to c3 check, which maintains the pressure on the queen. And if you didn't see the tactic here, it's that black's, black's king has only two legal moves. And if he goes to either c4 or c5, white will check, give a check on either d3 or d4 with the d-pawn, and this bishop is very useful as it allows white to win the queen, which is pretty much pinned on e1. And the same variation happens again if black plays pawn to c5, c5, except here black's king is forced to capture the pawn on c4, and white will win the queen once again. So black cannot move his pawns. But what if black moves his king? And once again, here black has three legal moves with this king. c5 and e5 both lead to the move d4, which wins the queen. And if black captures the pawn on c4, then finally, pawn to d3 wins the queen. And this will conclude today's study. An amazing study where in this position, every single move allows the queen to be captured soon and i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and share as well as subscribe because i'm only two away from 500 in the moment while i'm making this video so i really appreciate it if you could help me to get 500 subs and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye